Hi guys, so I'm on a flight again to LA for another event that my brother's doing, but lo and behold, guess what was going on a week prior? Scrapbook Expo in Ontario, California. Now this was October 2023, so I'm uploading this a little bit late, but that's okay. Um, the previous expos that I had gone to were pretty bad. There were not uh, a lot of vendors, I mean maybe a handful, uh, it was just not good. And I wasn't optimistic that this one was going to be better, but wow. Walking in and seeing all the vendors, there was probably like 30 plus vendors um, at this expo. And I went with my niece Alyssa, we had so much fun. Uh, we had lunch there and uh, had our Starbucks and we were just ready to go. So much to look at. and. I found quite a bit of stuff and I have a haul here to show you at the in just a little bit but um, I went to go and look for Alyssa because she found some gems that she was like excited about. Here I can hold it now honey. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just threw my some See, this is away. The, the dazzling? You got me. You, you got, got me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me show you stuff from the expo. I went to, to the Teresa Collins booth. And this is not Teresa Collins stuff in here. I actually threw my markers in here. So I found some Copic markers for $4 a piece. So I got a bunch of different colors and I'm hoping I didn't get duplicates, but we shall see. So $4 a piece and these turned out to be about $104, oh, $113. So that was for the markers. <laughs> but Teresa Collins had these bags. I thought these were cute. Be strong, make waves, create your story. Teresa Collins. I was like excited when I saw her. This was free with a free shopping bag. Um, it is a tri-blend by Spectrum Noir. Orange. This was adhesive foam strips in black, which I didn't even think about trying to use before until I saw it. Because if you're lifting something like on a very grungy card or layout or something, it's nice to have the black so that the white doesn't show. $3 a piece. So I got that and then I got some leather sort of fabric. Um, the, these are by Johanna R uh, Rivero. She's done quite a bit like some of the most beautiful dimensional things like purses and cameras and things like that with the with the shaker cards and stuff. Anyways, you, you guys should look her up. She's really, really, really creative. Um, but I found this like this one's a cork leather, a faux cork leather. But she when she makes an album or some sort of a cover, she uses fabric. Anyways, it has this gold accent. It's super gorgeous. And then I got this one. Oh, my hair got on it. Um, here it is flashes equal leather and elastic texture. So one was $9.99, the other one was $11. So no, it was not on sale. But this one has like this fabric on it. You guys can see that. It's super pretty. Bellas y Creativas by Johanna Rivero. Oh, there's her website right there. If you want to look her up i will link that below though if you guys want to take a peek but yeah this is another buy so from the big one of the biggest purchases i made was um on the at the Teresa collins booth and then creative creations they are creative creations dot me so what i got there i saw the graphic 45 paper let's get artsy i've never seen it before normally my craft warehouse carries graphic 45 and they carry probably about eight to ten collections and they they, all, they carry them in the packs and they carry them in single sheets which is awesome i had not seen it there up until like yesterday i went to a doctor's appointment and then i stopped to buy and they actually had that collection there it did not stand out to me but when i went to the expo this was like, I mean, the whole, the whole thing was just flashing at me and I was thinking, oh my God, these colors looks like they are from like Mexico. I was just, I loved it. And a lot of our pictures that we took in, in Mexico from the last uh, few times we went, um, I can totally use this. So I got this and then I got the patterns and solid packs. I thought they were really pretty. So yeah i got them and i love them and then i'm like oh, i need flowers to go with it so i got some flowers and Alyssa helped me pick some of these out oh here's one of the let's see this is tags and frames and this one is ephemera assortment a banner it's got flowers 
Different. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get the orange and I gotta get the yellows. And I saw these, they were like a rainbowish color. I thought they were pretty cool looking. After I bought them, I was like, is it too colorful? Do they look weird? <laughs> I was kind of regretting it, but I'm glad that I brought them home. <laughs> and there's some teal ones. These are so cute. These are just super cute. So I saw these at first and some of the other uh, colors that are uh, the romantic roses. Um, I wasn't feeling too much. I wanted different like shapes and things. So right like next to some of the graphic 45 was some 49 and market stuff. And that's why I picked these up. And they were all $6.99 a piece. I also saw the stamp set for it and I almost didn't get it. Um, and I was thinking to put it back and I'm glad I didn't. That's the stamp set. It says nine pieces. And they had some more of the little sprinkles. I've been into getting these. I found this one. Uh, this one's like Valentine's themed. I saw this one that had like peppermint candies <laughs> and some little paw prints, either dog prints or whatever. They're toe beans. They're still just toe beans. And some little star glitters and half back pearls, half back gems, bones. See it? Yeah, there's one right there thought they were cute and I grabbed me two of these because um these are the same colors that Alyssa used for Naya's first birthday party which we I do have a vlog and I'm going to share that the blue purple and a couple different pinks yeah so cute and then of course I had to get something neutral so I got some little white like globby dots whatever little stars and stuff I like the neutrals in here so I can mix some of these with some of those all right so that and then they had this section where they they had the fabric that has a like a printout of uh some sort of art there was one that's like a mermaid and then they sell these little diamond dot uh gems so that you can glue them on there and then you can create your piece and it, it's tedious it's a tedious one and i won't do those but the gems, I was like, oh, these are cute for like the shaker cards. So they're just little gems, little, little bits. They almost look like just sprinkles for like your cupcakes. I got the white. I got a gold and silver mix. And then I got a black one. I can't remember how much these were. I got to look these up. So they were $2.50 a piece. And I got them for $2.12. Yeah, I got me some of those. So that is it for that for creative creations there was a lady that was uh selling a bunch of echo park uh doodle bug like papers and like these little packs of things and from simple stories so she had a box oh my gosh she had a lot of boxes i think i, I spent about 60 dollars in her booth so i got a bunch of enamel dots just random colors i wasn't even looking at like the theme uh, some's like Christmas and it looks like Christmas day in life and fall, but I was just looking at the colors So apparently I got two of these and Two of these and then these two different ones these are very pastel and man I have been looking for these forever forever So these are photo flip packets that I have been seeing I believe uh, Mercy Tiara she uses these a lot and I was like where did she get these? I keep remembering that she uses photo flip pockets and I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to look for them. I didn't, I didn't even think about it when I went into this lady's um, booth, but she had them. So I grabbed a couple of the four by four. So it has a sticky piece on one side, one edge of the envelope that you can stick on the inside of a pocket. And then you can just flip. If you look here at this photo, you can see what she's doing. So if you have like one extra picture that you just don't have a pocket for, you can do something like that. And if you want to do a sh little shaker out of that, you can do that if you want to. I would just sew it all in and then just use the adhesive to stick it in there. But I got the 4x4s and then I got the 4x6s, which is a size that I use a lot. And you see the price here is $5 a piece. So, so these are 4x6s, solid 4 by 4 sixes there's 12 of them in each pack and then this one has a variety uh, it's got four four by six sizes four four by four and four three by four photo flips i grabbed all of them that i could that's all she had in that thing i grabbed all of these that i could because i knew i was gonna want these there's that and then Teresa collins she had a lot of planner stuff and i'm not into planners i really wish that i was 
Anyways, at Teresa Collins, I got this designer paper collection, but they're 12 uh, premium clear acetate sheets. They are 12 by 12. They were, I think, $20 a pack, but she was doing them half off for 10, so I got two for 20. She had this one little kit thing here. It's got some stickers and, and stuff. Uh, she had all of her products, kits and stuff, like her name put on there in gold. And this feels like a sticker. She had a mini album, like a spooky mini album. And she had this hanging off the binder. So cute. But it's got a skull. It's got some little shaker thingies in here to use for like the album or a, sh a shaker. This one was $6.99. So it's called Halloween Ephemera Bag. But it looked like she used this for a mini album and I thought it was so funny. She had a stationery section and I grabbed her little journaling pen. It has uh, the word limitless on it and it says Teresa Collins on another side in gold. And look at that, how cute is that, pink and gold. These little bags says Teresa Collins on it in gold. Look at that. See, all of this stuff was, has gold. Um, so these are just some different shape paper clips. I think they're only hearts. Yeah, they're hearts. I got this one that was a four pack of the one and a half inch gold rings, binder rings. And then I got one that had four of the smaller, I think it's one inch. Yeah, so she only had these two sizes, I believe. But I really like her style and I wanna, wanted to uh, be able to use this in some of the, some layouts or, a, or tags or whatever. So I got three packs of her ribbons. Thought they were super cute. And then that's it, I think. Yeah, and that's it. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put this stuff away. And I'm glad I was able to show you guys before I did that. <laughs> I have to apologize because I've, I've been trying to catch up on my content uh, at Jules house with the vlogs. I just finished a series of four videos that of a uh, travel vlog to Puerto Vallarta um, that we did back in 2021 and 2022. And I wanted to get those on their way before now, but for some reason I'm having a lot of health issues and I'm not able to create as frequently as I'd like. I'm not going to be able to be as consistent as I used to be. So you might see a video, you know, one video a month, uh, maybe two. Same thing on at Jules house. House. it's just difficult I try to even work from the bed with my laptop and um, it's difficult to even sit in bed because my back so either I stand and I hurt or I sit and I hurt so I spend a lot of time laying down so I just wanted to put that out there because I know that I'm not putting out content as often as I would like so um, those things are something that I talk about over at my vlog yeah, so just, I mean, bear with me. If you're if you're okay with seeing content from me, you know, once a month, twice a month, then that's great. But I, I just can't put out one or two a week or even one a week uh, like I used to before. And, and as you crafters know, when we're creating, sometimes it can take us, a, you know, an hour or two. Sometimes we have to think on it. Some of us um, take three, four days to finish a project, especially if it's a big one. So I am just a little bit more slower because I hurt when I move. So... I just want to let you guys know that and uh, thank you so much for stopping by and, and hanging out. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a great day. Bye.